Welcome back to my channel. Hi, I'm Tanelia. Thank you guys so much for joining me here today. It is such a beautiful day. It is Saturday. The sun is finally shining. We had rain for a couple of days. So to see a little bit of sunshine coming through the window, it just does some really good things to my mood. It just sets my day right. I'm absolutely loving it. Today we're going to be doing the new Free Spirit Collection from Perfusion Cosmetics. I saw Trend Mood tease this. I just thought it was so pretty. First we have the 25 shade palette. I'm loving the butterfly on the cover. Clearly this is like their spring collection. Spring is just around the corner. It is March so we're going to start seeing a lot of spring launches from brands I'm sure. This is what our color story is looking like. Hold on let me take the plastic off. It's causing a reflection on the ring light. I'm really loving this color story. I really liked these bright pastels like these shades in here this bright blue. I'm definitely wanting to focus more on the pastel shades today. Pastels can be really difficult to formulate and may not show up on the eyelid as vibrant as they're showing in the palette. So I definitely want to focus on those shades today and see how well they perform. I also grabbed from this collection one of the Social Butterfly Soft Cloud Blushes. This one is in Painted Lady. There were two shades but both of them looked pretty much the same just flipped. Like this one is orange or on the outside and then the butterfly in the middle is pink. The other one was pink on the outside and a butterfly was orange so I don't really know what the difference is supposed to be. And then the last thing from the actual collection itself, I grabbed the Etheria Butterfly Soft Matte Lip Cream Set. There are three shades in here. There are other products that are part of this collection too. I know that there was a lip mask and some other things but I just got the products that kind of stood out to me and that I wanted to try. The website was having a sale so I went on ahead and I grabbed a couple of other things as well. These were something that I had been wanting to try for a while and they, these are the techno liners there are three in here these are supposed to be dual chrome gel liners so I'm definitely interested in seeing how these perform I will definitely try one today and then the last thing that I picked up is one of their perfect pout soft matte lip tints the shade is in powerful just looked really really pretty I've used these soft matte lip tints before and I wasn't a huge fan at the time I'm hoping that I like this one. I think it was only like $2 on sale. So even if I don't like it, it's not a huge loss. I've already done my base products. I've also gone on ahead in bronze. Let's go on ahead and check out this blush. It says it's a soft cloud blush. So I'm curious as to what that's actually going to feel like. So that is what that's looking like out of the package. I'm going to do a quick swatch. Oh, it's definitely creamy. It's not like balmy like their um, other kind of cream blushes that they have launched in the past. This one definitely has like a bouncy cloud finish to it. Whoa, that is nice. That's the orange kind of part. I'm going to swatch them separate. That's what the kind of orangey outside looks like. It's more like a corally orange. And then I'm going to softly swatch the pink in the middle. It's very, very light. Like these the formula is extremely sheer like i'm really having to build up that pink but it is pretty and it's extremely soft and bouncy in the compact i want to focus more on the pink part in the middle so i'm going to take this brush this is also from perfusion i like brushes like this for creams and i'm going to tap into the middle and then just start building it onto the cheek I'm like really having to tap in here to get the color I like the idea, but I do wish they had just done like separate blush shades instead of putting them both into one little compact. All right, so let's start tapping. It's extremely soft. It has a very like soft matte finish to it. Not emollient, not matte, just very, very soft. When they say soft cream, that is the perfect way to describe it. It's very, very pretty. That really is pretty. Pretty. It's just so sheer. Like if you have more pigment than me, this is probably not going to show up on you at all. Taking quite a bit of work for me to just really build this color up so you can really see it on my cheeks. You might hear my children in the background. My youngest is downstairs emptying the dishwasher. <laughs> so you, you might hear some voices and some dishes rattling in the background. The blush has kind of a nice glow on its own, but I do want to add a little bit more highlighter. So I'm going to take this one from ColourPop. It's the Tinkerbell Super Shock and Happy Thoughts. This collection didn't come with a highlighter. 
one thing that I do realize I'm noticing this year, you know, it seems like each year there's a particular product that brands are focusing on. This year it seems to be contour and lip products. I'm really noticing. I haven't really seen a lot of highlighters. I have seen blushes too, but contour and lip products, it's like now that we, you know, we're not like deep into the pandemic like we were in 2020, 2021, things are pretty much back to normal. It's like all the brands have said, you know what? lips we need to launch lips so i'm seeing all these brands with all these new lip products coming out it's like there is a lipstick boom happening moving on to shadow but first we are going to prime do our eyeshadow primer this is the makeup revolution one in medium really been enjoying this one lately the shades that i really want to focus on are kind of these two right here maybe these i want to take this shade first it's called vibrant so let's hope it is in fact that i'm going to take this and put this in the inner portion of the eye i'm going to use this pointed crease brush from perfusion and just get in there and just see how well it builds up Ooh, on the brush it is pretty vibrant let's see if that translates to the eyelid because a lot of times when it comes to pastels they won't I can see it, but <laughs> it's not like super pigmented. I think it's one of, the, one of those shades I'm going to have to build up. So, yeah, let me go on ahead and see. I'm just going to pack it on and then start building up. It's pretty. I mean, you can see it. This is one of those shades you might want to put like a lighter eye base on your lids first. I do have a white concealer from AOA. The next time I play with these pastels, I might try that and see if that helps any. That's pretty. I don't know how it's translating on camera, but in person, I can see it. It's just not as super vibrant as it is in this pan. I wish I was getting this shade on my eyelids. On my eyelids, it's a little bit more muted. It's not as vibrant as I'm seeing here. So, so far, vibrant is not as vibrant as I was hoping for. And I'm going to take my detailed Beauty Bay brush and we're going to go in to, I want to do Hope. I'm going to lay this one down and then maybe take this one and kind of deepen it a little bit, see how that works. But let's go with this one first. It's called Hope. One thing I'm also noticing, I'm not really seeing a lot of eyeshadow palettes. Have you guys noticed that? I've seen a handful of eyeshadow palette launches, but not many in WoW. That shade is not showing up at all. <laughs> like, I am not seeing anything on my eyelids. Are you guys seeing anything? Let me just kind of take it and just kind of pack it on. And then kind of see what happens. It's very, very light. Like, it's a sky blue in the pan, but on me, it's just like white with just a little bit of blueness. Okay, we can see it a little bit more. But still, not that same vibrancy that we're getting in the pan. But yeah, contour, which is so funny because for a long time, contour was something that we weren't really seeing. Everybody was big into bronzer, but now contour seems to be coming back. Like, seems to be like a trend now. But as far as eyeshadow palettes, I have really only seen a handful come out this year. And usually we see a lot, like brands just focused on eyeshadow palettes. But I haven't really been seeing many this year. Yeah, so far this formula is just not impressing me i mean i am barely getting any color on my eyelids at all definitely the next time that i try this formula i'm going to use that white concealer and see if we get a little more vibrancy like i said pastels can be very difficult to formulate and show up on the eyelid just might need a little bit of a little bit of help take this detail brush from shop miss aoa studio this is the e132 i really like these brushes with the pink handles they come you can get the whole eye brush set in there's 10 of them and you get the whole bundle for like ten dollars and they also have them individually on the website let's go into playful on camera it's looking more sky blue teal but in person it's more of a richer kind of a lavendery purple there's a lot of pigment on the brush. I'm going to focus this on the other corner and just pack it on. These shades are also looking very chalky, not super bright, not, you know, super pigmented, not very vibrant, but kind of chalky. 
that one's okay. It's showing up more. And yes, yeah, still not really getting that vibrancy. Still kind of chalky. You can tell that this formula is very white based, so that's also making it difficult to show up. Most pastels are. That's nothing new. But yeah, if you are of the deeper pigmented melanin, you're, the, these shades, at least the ones that I'm trying, probably not going to show up on you. I think I will do another look in a reel and try out these other shades like, you know, this one, this one right here. There's also a deeper shade of purple right there and see how those perform. Because so far the pastel ones are just not performing very well. Let's move on to some of these shimmers. I am going to use my NYX glitter base just to kind of help them show up a little bit more. I'm going to swatch a few just to see what we have here. This shade mysterious in the middle. It's like a purple with just some little silvery white, some little bit of pinky gold flakes in there. I have a feeling that's a pressed glitter. Yeah, that is a pressed glitter. So we are not going to be using that one today. Pressed glitters are not my favorites. I generally don't don't really reach for them. There's a time and a place for, I guess, that kind of a look, but they're just not something that I like to reach for. Transform. That's pretty. Let's see what this one's like. Oh, that's really creamy. Ooh, look at that. That is gorgeous. Okay, that's pretty. That's definitely a contender. Let me swatch these two. Joy and Graceful. So Joy and Graceful. This one right here, Graceful, looks like it's a duochrome. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, there's a definite little shift in that one right there. Let's see. Can you see it? Yeah, there's like a slight little shift. That's pretty. And then that one is Joy. The shimmers in this palette, I have to admit, they are really nice. I'm going to go ahead and swatch Exotic and Majestic as well. Wow. Um, exotic, you guys. There. Ooh, that one is very magical. Do you see that? There's like a kind of a purple, pink, green kind of a shift going on. It's really difficult to see shifts on camera. I hope you're getting that. There's definite a pink to purple to like gold green shift. Oh my god, that shade is stunning. I think I'm going to go with that one today. So far the mattes, they're just, they're not blowing me out of the water, but the shimmers are really, really pretty. I'm going to take the angled flat end of our BH Cosmetics brush and just a little bit of my NYX glitter primer. I don't use this very often, but when I'm wanting something to just, the shimmers to really, really pop, this is really, really good for that. So I'm going to take it and just kind of carve where I want that to sit. I'm just going to pat it all over. Anyone notice that people don't really do cut creases anymore? When I was first getting into makeup, crease, cut creases were still pretty popular. But yeah, I've noticed like in the last couple of years, we don't, we don't really see people doing those anymore. I guess trends just kind of come and go. All right, I'm going to dip into Exotic. And we are going to lay that on the lid. This shade swatched was really, really magical. Oh my God, it was so pretty. Ooh, my word, that is a stunning shade. When you consider like how inexpensive Profusion shadows are, this is really, really nice. Mmm, that is such a pretty shade. I'm going to take this smaller flat brush and we're going to go into Graceful and lay that on the inner portion of the eye. So right in here, ooh, that is pretty. The pastels in here, the pastel mattes, doing absolutely nothing for me, but my word, this shimmer formula is gorgeous. I'm going to take a little bit more playful, just see if we can pack that on this outer corner. Kind of blend these two because I have a line right in here. There's a sharp line right here in between the two shades, the matte and the shimmer. I want to see if I can blend those to get more of a smoother blend. I'm going to do that off camera. I'm going to go ahead and throw my liner and my lashes on as well. And then we'll come back. We'll test out one of these duochrome liners and then finish off with our soft matte lip cream. 
I'm looking forward to trying out this formula. Now to try out these Technicolor Duochrome liners. I saw these at Walmart, but I didn't pick them up. I'm glad I waited because these were on sale on the website. They were like $4 or like $6 less than I was seeing in Walmart. The formula is described as being easy glide, long wearing gel formula allows you to draw precise lines while the hyperpigmented and shade shifting hues will intensely transform your day to night look designed for all skin tones. There's actually a little how to guide on the back telling you how to apply the liners. Let's see what it says. It says start by filling the gaps from the base of the top lash line and slowly build a thickness to complement your eyes or preferred style. Number two, wear a lone or layer on for a more defined look. Store your looks on Instagram at Profusion, hashtag Profusion Cosmetics. I am going to swatch these. I don't know how well they'll appear on camera even if I do see a shift. I'll do a swatch video of these for my reels so that you can see them better. All right, so they twist up and they do have a point. I can see a little bit of a shift there. My hands have like glitter on them. So let's, I'm just going to put this all over my hand. It doesn't have a shade name on it. Oh no, there it is, Cyber. It was on the bottom. So I'm just kind of putting it all over the hand. It is creamy. And let's see if we see a shift. I see it. You see that? Kind of a purple to blue. It's definitely there. This one is crypto this one looks like from the point it has a kind of a gold to maybe green shift this one's a little bit more vibrant than that first shade was all right let's see if we see that oh yeah it's a little more subtle on camera but in person i can definitely see it it is a green to like orange to gold shift oh that is cool all right, Perfusion. Like I said, I think full price, these were like $11. And I got them from like $4 on Perfusion because they were on sale. This shade is NFT. Ooh. Wow. Okay, this one you can clearly see that duo. Gold to like a corally orange. Gold, corally orange. I will definitely do something in my reel so you guys can see that shift better. Oh, that is pretty. It just goes to show you that you don't have to spend like an arm and a leg to get a really nice formula. Okay, for this look, I think I'm going to go with Cyber. I'm pretty sure like in the waterline, you're not going to probably see that same vibrant shift. I'm seeing a slight bit of a shift, but not as vibrant as it was in the, you know, the swatch of my hand. And it does take a little bit of work to build it up in the waterline. It's not like super, super creamy. We have three shades here of the Ethereal Butterfly Soft Matte Creams. It's a long wearing formula that adds a universally flattering flush of color for the perfect day to night pout. The packaging is really nice. It's got a little bit of weight to it. Usually the Perfusion, you know, lip packaging is pretty cheap. These feel really nice. I want to go with this one in the middle. All right. I'm going to apply this all over and then I'm going to perfect my line using my AOE Studio Lip Liner in Famous. I've noticed on my lips person, because I do have a lot of fine lines, that if I fill in them with color first and then touch up afterwards with the liner, that it actually looks better and gives me a more precise line. Love the doe foot. Very flexible, very comfortable. Formula definitely has a soft, matte, creamy feel to it. Feels really nice. It definitely glided on pretty easily. I do like this doe foot, but it's almost too flexible. It was kind of moving around a little bit too much. I'm going to blot just a little bit. Well, that's pretty. Then let's go ahead and touch up the lip pencil. See? I find that if I put the lip color on first and then go in with the pencil after, it just really helps my lines a little bit more. That's everything that I picked up in this mini haul. The only thing that we didn't try today is the Perfect Pout Soft Matte Lip Tint in Powerful. I'll have to try that out and let you guys know in a future video what I thought about it. Final first impression thoughts of this collection. I did like the blush, the Soft Cloud Blush and Social Butterfly. It's definitely a very soft, vibrant, kind of a bouncy formula. I love the way that it felt. It did take a little bit of building to get onto the cheeks, but as you can see, it's a very soft, 
pretty kind of a corally peachy tone i'm not fond of the two tones in the compact like if you want to use them together then i guess it doesn't matter you just rub them together but if you want to use them separately try to get your brush in there to just get that precise colors a little bit hard i love the idea and the formula is really pretty i just don't really like the way that they did the two tones in the compact i'd rather they have just done separate colors completely the Free Spirit Eyeshadow Palette. The pastel shades in here, they're just, they're not really wowing me. I'm going to try them with a white base. Like I said, I have that white concealer from AOA Studio. So I'm going to try it with that and see if it makes a difference. Because just over a regular eyeshadow primer, you can see them. The shades are there, but they're very muted. They're not giving me that vibrant, you know, bright pastel color. If you have a deeper skin tone, like this is not going to show up on you at all. I'm definitely going to do a second look in my reels trying on some of these deeper shades. I may do two more looks instead of just one, but we'll kind of see how much time I have and, you know, how I'm feeling about that. The shimmers though, I absolutely love. This little shifty one right here, both of these shimmers are shifting. They're so freaking pretty. These shimmers, definite 10, the pastel shades in here well, kind of a three four but we'll see how the other shades perform when i try those in my reels i have to say i'm very impressed with these duochrome liners they are so pretty i mean you can definitely see that shift there it's not as vibrant on camera as i'm seeing in person in person i am seeing the like this super amazing shift i will definitely do a swatch video of these for my shorts and reels and stuff so you guys can get a better look but man these are so pretty i'm very impressed and they definitely have staying power. I've been wiping it with my wipe and they're just, they're not moving. So that should last in the waterline all day. The last thing we tried is the lip creams, the soft matte lip creams. And I gotta say, I like this formula. It is very, very soft just like it says it's swiped on very easily quickly which i really really like the doe foot's really flexible which i like too but it's almost too flexible it's kind of moving around a little bit too much but overall i am happy with the products that i tried today perfusion is a very affordable brand that's one of the reasons why i do test out their products a lot i would like to get into doing more um, kind of like luxury testing but you know luxury is luxury and it does cost a lot and i do have that concern that i'm going to spend 80 bucks in the eyeshadow palette and it just not perform for me and yeah i don't have 80 bucks to just feel like i'm wasting on the palette although i do intend to do more trying luxury in 2023 but if you enjoyed this video please be sure to give the video a thumbs up it really does help with my channel with getting into recommendations once again if you are not subscribed i would love it if you would consider doing so it does not cost a thing it is absolutely free and I do think that you guys will enjoy the content that I have over here. Have a wonderful day. Be safe. Take care of yourself. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.